Hey you guys, PJD here. I just want to come on to review the Carol's Daughter Chocolat line. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, which is upside down because it's thick and I don't have much left. So I just wanted it to drain so I can show you the consistency in a second. And also the uh, smoothing blow dry cream. Now I have to tell you before I even get into this review, I think that now after reading the text that's on the Sephora site associated with this product as well as the text that you'll find on Carol's Daughter site about this product, they seem to promote it as more of a frizzing, defrizzing line. Like if you have frizzy hair, it even says so on the back. Um, you may not be able to see this text so well, but basically, um, and this is the um, smoothing blow dry cream. On the back, it says that you can tame your, oh yeah, okay. So transform frizzy follicles. So you can transform your frizzy follicles and they focus on the frizzy thing. Uh, right, unmanageable frizz, things like that. When I picked this up, I was not focused at all on the fact that about frizziness because I don't consider my hair to be um, frizzy necessarily. Uh, so I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to that. And I did see the text when I read the back of the box um, with the smoothing cream. I saw that, but again, my mind was just focused on this, which is on all three of the bottles. Thermal protection. Right, so this is a thermal line. And, and this right here is supposed to be used, you know, when you're going to blow dry or something like that. I took this upside down. Sorry, I'll show you this one. All of them say thermal protection, so I took it as a line that you use if you want to protect your hair from the heat. That's how I use that. This review is going to be based on my experience of it from that perspective, because if you're looking for me to review this about whether or not it reduced the amount of frizz, I mean, I normally don't have frizz anyway, so did I end up with like no frizzies? Yeah, because I always do. So if that's what you're expecting to get from this review, I can't tell you whether or not this will really defrizz your hair, but I can talk to you about this as a thermal protection line because that's what was in my head as I was using it and as I was testing it and that's what my opinion of it is based upon. Okay, so before I even get into anything else with this, I have to tell you about the scent first, just because it's named Chocolat, right? You're going to expect to open this bottle up and it smells like Hershey's, like a Hershey's chocolate bar. It does not. It's It smells like some chocolate and it has cocoa extract in all three of these products. So it smells like some sort of chocolate, but a perfumed version of that. Like if chocolate were to be accented and, and bottled as a perfume, that's what this would smell like. Now, even though it has kind of a perfume chocolatey scent to it, um, they don't have any synthetic fragrances in here. So however they fragranced it, and, and perhaps from the actual cocoa extract that they have in here, along with some other things obviously it, it does have the scent of chocolate but again not like a chocolate bar okay not that chocolatey um, also I can say when you put this in your hair for people who are sensitive to scents for me this wasn't a long lasting scent um, so I put the shampoo in the conditioner then I could smell it and smell smell pretty strong there but after drying even putting on this cream I could smell it during the process because of course it's on my hands and you know I have the blow dry going through my hair but I didn't feel as if um, that chocolatey scent lasted after I was done working on my hair okay so that's it kind of with that all of the ingredients for this whole line of course it's all as it says here it's all paraben free, petroleum free, free of mineral oil. It's also, which it doesn't say here, but you would see it on the Carol's Daughter website or on the box when you actually buy the product. It doesn't have um, petrochemicals, no, th um, no synthetic fragrances, no synthetic dyes. So all of the normal stuff that you normally get out of the Carol's Daughter line, no phthalates, none of that in here. I can tell you that there are some interesting ingredients and that you'll see on all three of these products from this line. Um, you know, you have your cocoa butter in here. Um, sorry, I'll show you the ingredients. It's a pretty long list, but you'll see some familiar things in here. Sorry if the lighting is, let me try to adjust that. Um, it has blueberry extract, which I don't use too many products that I can think of for my hair that have blueberry extract, but there you go. I'm just moving it so you could kind of see everything. So shea butter, 
Um, I know it has coconut oil in here. Oh, there it is, coconut oil. Sunflower seed oil, uh, cocoa extract. It has a variety of um, different proteins in here. Soy protein. Um, I believe it also has vegetable protein, but here's a, a long list, right? Of pretty much what it has. But again, after looking at the sunflower seed oil and all of those different things and hydrolyzed silk proteins, etc., um, it's nothing in here that I found on the ingredient list that would make me feel like this is going to damage my hair or anything. Glycerin is in here, etc. So, you know, her, the usual Carol's Daughter list. So that's for the shampoo, the conditioner. I'm just trying to get the ingredients out of the way for those who want to read that. Pretty much the same thing here in the conditioner. Um, Panthenol you have in here. Jojoba oil is in the conditioner. Um, it also has um, so, uh, coconut oil was in here as well. Cocoa butter, things like that. So the normal list. And also I would say normal according to other things that you may find in other Carol daughter products if you're not able to see this so well don't worry about it because they do have the complete ingredients list on the um, Sephora website so you can just look under ingredients for each of these products and you'll see unfortunately the ingredients are not listed on the tube of the smoothing cream itself um, it's on the box that it came in and I threw that away so sorry but again you can look on the Sephora site and see the complete ingredients list but pretty much for the smoothing cream it had moringa oil and it jojoba oil um it has that methicone but you know that's a lot of um products not the not the worst cone you could ever have um it has fruit extract in in this one as well so you know things that make me happy so that, that's fine um and again you know this is toted as a natural line etc okay now to get down to business as you know, I usually do a heat-free treatment to my hair. Anything that I do, I really don't use um, heat at all to dry my hair. I air dry. That's typically what I do. But now that I'm eight months, soon to be nine months post-relaxer, well, eight months plus, um, I have in recent times been using the blow dryer, not on the length of my hair, but just on the, the new growth portion just to my hair texture forget 4B, okay? I'm in 4XYZ, as I've said before, really, really tightly coiled. It could be this much hair and the shrinkage will be like crazy, crazy, crazy. So in order to kind of manage it, I do use the blow dryer and not always, it depends on what I plan on doing with my hair afterwards, but I do use it to loosen it just a bit. So the first time that I decided after a long, long, long time to use a handheld dryer, and I'll put a picture of Killer at the end of this video. Killer is what I have nicknamed my blow dryer because, oh my goodness, you put that on high, and I typically do it on low. I blow dry my hair on low. Um, but if you put it on high, this particular hair dryer, literally I had to cut it off, and there was no way I was going to like flat iron or do anything afterwards because it made my hair feel like it had been flat ironed. It made my scalp feel like fire was on it. I was like oh my goodness high it was just way too much so anyway I, I had it on high just to get some of the really really tough sections so it could blow it out faster but I couldn't let that heat stay on my scalp too much it, it hurt so anyway you'll see a picture of my blow dryer at the end but that's beside the point so anyway I use that blow dryer I blow dried out the natural portion of my hair um, so that it could be a little looser but really having it on high just blew it straight um having it on low just you know kind of softened loosened up the curl pattern just a bit so anyway after doing it that first time guess what i saw a sea of hair um shed hair broken hair i saw hair and i was like oh my goodness yeah and i had used a heat protector but it was one of those you know light silky ones clearly hadn't protected much now, fast forward to when I learned about this line, I said, you know, if I am going to be doing this heat thing, at least let me kind of check out this thermal protection line, see if it does anything. Okay, so now let me tell you um, what happened. I used a shampoo and a conditioner. After using both of them, um, okay, first let me do shampoo first. After using the shampoo, it felt like my hair was coated, not like... Uh, it wasn't clean. It felt clean, but at the same time, it felt like it left something behind. And I said, ooh, maybe this really will be like some sort of heat protectant because it, it really did feel like, not greasy, but like a, a waxy, oh, I don't want to use the wrong word because I don't want to give you a horrible impression of this, but it it left a coating. Maybe I'll just leave it at that. It left a coating on my hair. Also, I can tell you, this is not the type of shampoo that 
is going to make your hair feel so moisturized that you just want to rip a comb through it. You can just detangle so quickly. No. Now, I was able to detangle only while the suds were in my hair of this particular product. While I had my hair lathered up with this particular product, I can move my fingers through it gently and, you know, try to detangle, finger detangle, and loosen things up that way. But once this was washed out of my hair, my hair went to, have you ever used one of those shampoos where it doesn't make your hair clump, but it's, you definitely know that you're not running a comb through your hair to detangle at that point because it just doesn't feel moisturized enough. It doesn't have enough give. That's how it felt after I washed this out. While the suds were in, yes, I was able to work through it gently because it still had a bit of firmness to it. And as I said, both of these, the conditioner and the shampoo, they have proteins in them. And it talks about that this line is also supposed to um, rebuild your hair. You know when you see things about rebuild your hair. So it did feel like it had this level of strength to it. So that was another reason because it it didn't feel stiff, but it did, certainly didn't feel all moisturized and silky soft, right? So that's why I would definitely not want to put a comb through my hair after I washed the shampoo out. Okay, so that was it, and it left the coating on my hair. Um, conditioner did a very similar thing. It softened it up just a, a wee bit from the shampoo process, but then again, after I washed it out, it, it, I had that coating as well. It felt like I had a coating on my hair, but it didn't necessarily feel um, soft. I, I, it felt soft. It just didn't feel like butter. Like I wanted to run a comb through it with confidence, knowing that my hair was not going to like pop off in the comb so it, it didn't leave me with that feeling but it got the job done and my hair did feel clean it had that coating on top of it which I just attributed it to oh this is perhaps the thermal protection layer and then you're supposed to put on the smoothing blow dry cream before you go into your heat process so before you use your blow dryer they recommend using a quarter size either a quarter or a dime um yeah, quarter size amount onto your damp hair and then you can go forward and use your blow dryer. I have to tell you, the first time I ever used this, I did not follow directions. I, because I'm looking at this again as a heat protectant, thermal protection, I used way more than a quarter size, okay? I used, I coated my hair until it felt like, you know, it, it was completely coated. <laughs> um, and so this also adds a layer on your hair, making it feel... You know, like as if you've layered on, not a grease, not a grease, but uh, one of those heavier leave-in conditioners. It kind of felt like that. So that's what I put on my hair. And I will say again, I did not use a quarter size amount. I used a lot. I used a lot because I really wanted to protect my hair. And ends, especially after that last scare I had where I had broken strands and all that other stuff. I mean, it wasn't tons, but you know, it was enough that I didn't like it. Um, and especially if you, you're a person who air dries, you're not used to seeing, you know, stuff come out like that. But anyway, so I didn't like it. So this time when I was using this product, I made sure that I really layered on this Chocolat Smoothing Blow Dry Cream. I'm not kidding you. When I used my hair dryer to dry out my hair, I then surveyed the area, my shirt, everywhere, the floor. The back. I was looking for hair. Anyone who had, you know, seen me would have thought I was a crazy person. I was looking for the hair two strands I found. One was shed, one was broken. Okay. A, those odds are great for me. I said, whoa, this really does work. It coated my hair. Now I'm going to tell you, you may not want to run out and get this and I'll tell you why. Okay. So first of all, two, two things that I noticed. My hair dryer, which I told you can bring your hair on, when it's on high to a bone straight state. I occasionally, I like to always blow dry on the low setting but because this chocolate this uh, smoothing blow dry cream because it really was protecting the heat from my hair the low was not getting it it was not loosening up the curl pattern it really wasn't doing anything I had to flip it to high and having it on high what normally on with that particular hair dryer makes my hair bone straight on high it barely loosened the texture and remember i had a lot of this in so that told me yes this 100 percent is a heat retardant it's almost preventing the heat from coming on my hair which which is good uh, okay if you're looking for this as a heat protectant it's barely allowing this on high heat to, to hit my hair and straighten it out. If my hair on the kinky scale of 1 to 10, and I'm talking about my new growth, if it's a 10, then having it on high, which would normally blow it to a 1, I mean bone straight if I had it on high, 
having it on high when I had a lot of this um, product in my hair took it down to tops in, in 8.5 or 9. So it was not really loose. Um, and I went over it more times than I care to say <laughs> with it on high and I had to keep cutting it off because it was making my scalp still feel hot but um, I kept going back over it with high because having so much of this product again it was blocking the heat so if you are looking for a product which will absolutely 100% block the heat or protect your hair from the heat this is great okay but here's the problem that same night because the blow dryer as I said I finally after kept I kept going over it with the setting on high, um, got it to a point where it was a bit looser. So because I got it to a point where it was a bit looser, it still wasn't, um, it still didn't, it, it still wasn't the level of straightness that I was trying to get that particular evening. So I said, okay, let me take out the flat iron. Now, normally when I use my flat iron and um, I was using not the Sultra flat iron, but I have another flat iron, which I'll do a review on soon but anyway um when i use that flat iron my hair comes out silky and beautiful and great i put my flat iron over my hair which had been blow dried when this was on it and first of all no hair well no hair ever comes out actually with my flat iron but so nothing came out but the shine that i normally get did not happen again this was like a heat retardant everything that would would normally happen because of the heat like maybe a little extra shine maybe a little bounce or maybe bone straight with the blow dryer did not happen and I have to say I know for certainty because I've since used this product many times and used it coupled with heat it's not because um oh it's because I used I think so much of it so because I used so much the first time it really really blocked the heat so that lets me know that yes, this does work as a, a thermal protection line, a heat protectant line. It does. So the next go around when I use it, because I still, if I use a flat iron or blow dryer, I, I want to get more effects of the heat. I just don't want it to kill my hair. So this already told me that this can protect the heat. Done. I believe it. I, I'm a believer. It, it can do that. So now I went in and I used, I wanted to see a couple of things. I wanted to see if a person would have to buy this entire line or just this. Like what's the key product? So there was a time when I used the shampoo and conditioner only. I didn't use this um, blow dry cream. I used the shampoo and the conditioner. Then I followed up with one of my uh, normal light heat protectants. Was not the same effect. I saw more hair that came out as a result of. So it wasn't as much as that first time when I didn't use this line at all. Which means yes this still is adding a layer of protection. The shampoo and conditioner. But um, by using a different heat protectant before I blow dried my hair. I still saw more hair than when I used all three of these. Or even on an occasion where I wanted to say. Alright so I know that the shampoo and conditioner it will provide. Even if I don't use this. It will provide me a layer of heat protection. Great. Well what will it do if I use a totally different shampoo and conditioner and just this? After doing that test, it was clear to me because then again, I came back to having like two, three strands come out, right? So that told me that this is the key product in, in this line. And I haven't told you about prices. So price, shampoo, 18 bucks, conditioner, 20 bucks. And these are eight and a half ounces um, jars. And then this right here, <laughs> this is the most expensive. This one is 22 bucks and it's only 3.9 ounces. Now, again, remember, you're supposed to be using a quarter size amount. I initially used way more than that. But now going back over my hair, the times when I just used the shampoo and conditioner, yes, I saw some, it, it protected it from the heat. Um, more so than if I had not used it but if I ignored the shampoo and conditioner and just used any shampoo and conditioner I wanted and then coupled it with this the chocolate smoothing blow dry cream boom yes it did it that acted as a real protecting to my hair let me show you the consistency of all of these um, it has that same type of nozzle that she used with the Noi line I don't like it but anyway um the shampoo is like regular uh, shampoo um, there it is slides down right Da, 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 da. like that and regular shampoo nothing special with that the chocolate is um conditioner is thicker yeah you see my band-aid <laughs> all right uh that was a scrubbing accident okay so here's the chocolate conditioner as you can see not runny at all does not run down right? lotion like in consistency right that's what that's like and now let me show you the smoothing cream 
again not runny sorry I just put a lot not runny see it's not sliding it's like a, a lotion as well right um, so the thing that I wanted to say about this line is because I'm looking at my time sorry this is taking a long time does this work as a thermal protection or heat protectant line yes how well this works on your hair will depend I believe on how much you use when I used tons I had two strands come out when I use less than tons it was I still have never used this with just using a quarter size amount it doesn't work for my hair I have to use more than a quarter size but um when I used less than I did the first time but still more than a quarter size it still acted as a really good heat protectant now I will also say the more you use of this product the more it will kind of dull down your hair um so even when I use this less than the first time I used it but more than a quarter size it still didn't give me that vibrant shine then there was another time that I used that and again more than a quarter size but I didn't go crazy with it I did get the shine so you really have to play with the levels and what will work with your hair so I did get the shine the shine was not as a result of this product you know when you may shampoo and condition your hair and then blow dry or even just let it air dry and it has that beautiful brilliant shine this dulls it down for me this dulled down my shine but once I found kind of I guess the right middle ground of of how much to use I noticed that it did not um it allowed shine to come through it allowed some of my hair to shine it really did but then did I see more strands yeah I did so you know that's kind of playing what do you want to weigh weigh out the two do you want to see more strands I don't or would you rather it look a bit dull and have no strands that's what I opt for so I'm telling you depending on the amount you use this will really act as a heat retardant boom heat won't get through but if you need heat to get through which that's why you're using a heat styling tool then you, you really do have to monitor how much you're using that's kind of my review on this line will I buy the shampoo and conditioner again no um, not that they're bad but as I said I've also tested this with my regular shampoo and conditioner and my hair came out just fine this is the key item um, that I would say you should get from this trio if anything at all get this it protected my hair from the heat better than any heat protectant I've ever used including another Carol's daughter heat protectant which I already own I haven't reviewed that yet but I will so this does act as a heat protectant but depending on how much you use you may not get the shine uh, on your hair that you're used to getting um, so you may want to weigh those things and figure out what works best for you. Yes, you can always put coconut oil or something on your hair later on to get the shine. But um, And then also, if you're trying to get it like maybe bone straight, which I, I can't say that I really go for that bone straight look anyway. But if that's what you're trying to get, you also have to monitor how much you're using. Because if you use too much of this, the heating tools, they'll work. Like it'll bring down your curl pattern a wee bit. But it's not going to bring it down so far that you're going to get that bone straight look with your heat tool because, again, it's acting as a heat retardant. So I think she really I should stop promoting this as a frizz-free line because did my hair have no frizzies? Yeah, it didn't, but it normally doesn't. So I think she really needs to push the fact that it says uh, thermal protection. That's what it does, and it does it really, really well. Um... So that's kind of my review of the Chocolat line by Carol Zotter. I hope this was helpful. If there's anything here that I didn't answer, please certainly um, feel free to let me know. And then I'll answer you in the question box down below. So thanks for watching. Bye. I also forgot to tell you, I was going through the latest um, edition of Essence Magazine, and it has that product that I showed you that I just got from Sally, the company, the brand, As I Am, but they're featuring the co-wash, the coconut co-wash, which I didn't pick up, but um, yeah, they have that. But anyway, I was coming here to show you what made the hair list on some of the best hair things you can buy is the Carol's Daughter Chocolat, which I just reviewed. So yeah, so it has the As I Am and Chocolat. Uh, oh, I also saw in Sally, sorry, this is awkward, but this Curls brand, um, this Curls, which comes from, um, oh gosh, 51, sorry, because, oh yeah, Organics Root Stimulator, they have their own kind of curly natural hair line thing that they're doing right now, but anyway, just wanted to mention that. All right, take it easy, bye.